Uh, YouTube Rando here. So, they had a really good sale on uh, frozen bag corn at the grocery store this weekend. Uh, we went grocery shopping, and I think they had these bags down to like, I don't remember, it was like 68 cents or maybe a little bit less, somewhere in there. It was pretty cheap, though. They're usually about a buck a bag. Uh, this is one pound bags of uh, frozen corn. Uh, so we're going to try dehydrating some of this stuff. My freezer's kind of full, and I need to we uh, weed out some of the uh, bag vegetables so we can uh, get more meat in the deep freeze. Um, now, when you're doing corn, like on the Ronco here, the corn will fall through the trays. Uh, now, they sell netted mats that lay perfectly inside this tray uh, for the corn to go on. It's just, you know, smaller holes, so you can see corn wouldn't have a problem spilling through these holes. So, um, so they sell the bags for them. However, I did not want to buy any. Uh, you know, being a cheapskate I am. So I'm going to do it the same way we did the original Ronco dehydrator. I just took some wax paper, cut it to fit the tray, poked some holes in it. That was the tedious part, is poking all the holes in them. I just made four, so we're just going to try four trays. And it sits down in there. Okay. There's a little bit of space right here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stagger the gaps right here. Fill it up with corn to here. That way if anything falls out the next one, it falls on this side. So I'm just going to stagger this little area right here. And the weight of the corn should be enough to hold the uh, wax paper down. So I'm going to get these trays loaded up. I'm going to try to load one pound per tray. I don't know how well that's going to work out, so we'll come back and show you where we're at. All right, so we got them all loaded up. We ended up getting, uh, doing four trays, and we ended up getting three pounds uh, on four trays. It was just a little less than one bag that would fit on one tray. Uh, this one's a little light, but it's on the very top, and the very top on this machine uh, gets done slower than the rest, so hopefully, with it being less corn on this one, hopefully it will uh, even out somewhere in the middle. Um, so it's 8:45 right now. We're just now starting them. Uh, they're gonna have to go overnight, of course, uh, probably till about eight o'clock in the morning. I'm assuming um, it's the first time I've done corn on this particular machine, though, so I'm not too sure about that. Um, we're just gonna have to let them go for a little bit and uh, come back and check on them, see where we're at. Maybe uh, a little bit before midnight, we'll check on them and uh, we'll come back and do an update. We'll be back. Alright, so it's been just under three hours. It's 11.40 right now. So uh, we're going to go ahead and check them. Um, I'll just note something. The top tray is not going to be as done as the bottom tray. Another thing is it took about an hour for the top of this to heat up because uh, the corn was frozen. So uh, It took a few minutes to get up to heat. Or about an hour actually. So, this is what the top tray looks like. You can see they're still kind of plump. And we are going to go ahead and rotate. Even though with this particular model, you're not supposed to have to. So you can see the difference in the size here. There's quite a bit of difference, and that's why we're going to go ahead and rotate at least one time. Uh, another note, I've got this cranked up to 160. So it's on its highest setting. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the bottom tray for a couple of hours like that. And then come back and um, crank them down a little bit before we go to bed. Uh, so the next step, I'm, I'm not going to update throughout it anymore. We'll just go ahead and come to the end of the uh, process and show you what we came up or what we have out of it, and I'll tell you exactly how long it took. All right, so these went right around uh, 12 hours, a little bit too long. The bottom ones are a little overdone, so to say, so to speak. Here's what they look 
looks like. This is the top layer. So we'll get them broke down and we'll see uh, how much three pounds is now. So we'll be right back. Alright, so here's what we ended up with. And this is a one gallon Ziploc bag. Uh, the reason I'm putting it in Ziploc bags is because we're going to do a lot more. Uh, I want to put back probably roughly 20 pounds of dried corn. And uh, the stuff's getting harder and harder to find uh, to buy it already dried. And the reason I want to do that is because it lasts so much longer in dried form than it does in, say, a can or uh, uh, just being frozen in the freezer. So it's still quite a bit of corn. I'd probably say there's three and a half cups of corn there. And this stuff will swell back up when you uh, reconstitute it. Here's the peppers we did the other day. You can see how much they took up. That was only, what was it, like three, three big bell peppers, something like that. And again, this is going to be for uh, seasoning. We're just going to powderize this stuff. Use it for uh, bell pepper seasoning. Good in meatloaf. Alright, so that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.